Hey everyone, Mike with Elite Reef here. Recently we had a request on our YouTube channel to talk about the flow in our nano tanks a little bit. So we're going to get in depth with that a little bit today. We're going to talk about a few different types of flow that we use and why we use it. And we'll look at some nanos and see how that's applied. Enjoy! So first up we're going to talk about my personal tank. This is a 30 gallon display. And I keep mostly low flow animals in here, so keep that in mind. This one has the standard return pump, and then it's also got this Aquamedic EcoDrift 4.0, which I've got set on a wave mode. Now this is a flow pattern where I'm basically trying to build momentum inside the entire mass of the water. So the entire water is rocking back and forth, which leads to a really uniform movement all across the tank, but it also is a transitional movement which is moving back and forth to keep the coral clean, hit them from all sides, keep all sides clean. So this just ends up being a really good flow pattern for kind of a mixed reef. Gets about the same amount of flow everywhere, keeps everything clean, keeps dead spots to a minimum. And that sums up to grow a great little mixed reef. Next up, we're gonna talk about our little five gallon Fluval Peninsula tank. Now this tank uses basically a laminar gyre flow. Which basically what that means is the flow is all coming in from this end down here by the filters, from a Corellia Nano, as well as the return. And then it's flowing all the way across the tank and forming a gyre that circles back up around. And what this is doing in here is it's getting these Gorgonians really nice laminar flow, which they really love. But it's also strong flow, so that it can keep all these stonies down here at the bottom nice and clean. Next I want to talk about a couple of tanks that we've provided flow to without any additional pumps. So this is a 28 gallon nano cube. And it's got nothing but the two stock pumps in there. Comes out of two separate returns. We use both of those to ripple the surface as much as possible. But we also have them pointed directly at the center front glass. What this does is it breaks up the flow a lot, creates really nice random movement, which most soft corals, a lot of hard corals, if you were to amplify this flow, are really happy with. But as you can see, it grows anemones really well. Soft corals definitely love it. Get knocked around in the flow real nice down there. And overall, it just makes for a really nice clean reef tank. No extra pumps to look at or any of that. And here we have a 12 gallon Nano. This is another one that has no additional pumps in it. It's nothing but the single stock return pump. And we've got that one pointed to move the top surface of the water and it's also hitting front glass to give us that nice random flow. As you can see, it's another nice little thriving reef tank. Does great. The final tank I want to talk to you about is a tank that uses flow in really limited areas to support some SPS while still being able to maintain a lot of really fleshy S LPS corals and even some softies. So what we've got here is a 29 gallon biocube Josh shut up. It's a really nice mixed reef. It's got the stock return pump, of course, coming out of the nozzle. And then he's also got two Corellia Nanos in here. And he's got them set up in a way where they're hitting directly into acros. So the acros are getting that awesome high flow that they need. But that's also breaking that flow into a random pattern, which the rest of the corals really enjoy. Got another little Corellia Nano over here that goes up into these Digitatas. Keeps them growing nice, but creates that random flow again. So this is one of the best ways to get a nice mixed reef. So that's the type of flow that we're using in a few of my favorite tanks here. I hope you found this helpful. If you're working on the flow in your tank, please do feel free to send us a message, stop in, give us a call, however you can get a hold of us, and we'll help you get that figured out. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.